the answer to your problem is not to dwell in the energy of the problem. The answer to the challenge with which you're faced is not to hook into the lower vibrational signature of that challenge and stay there and work from the orientation of the challenge or work and endeavor from the orientation of the problem. Rather, the answer to rising above the problem, the challenge, the suffering, and the limitation is to work within the imaginal mind. Nothing exists in reality that was not first created through the consciousness. The imaginal mind is more powerful than what the senses tell you is real. You see, the senses tell you that this world is real. The senses tell you that this wall is real, that my body is real, that my bank account is real, that my limitations are real, that my government is real. See, this is what the senses tell you. But the work of the spiritual person is to pivot away from what the senses say is real in 3D reality and instead create within the chamber of the consciousness. Create within the secret space of the imagination. From this space, we can create the reality we truly want to live. And the secret to creating that reality is to not just dwell in the space that prayer closet in which your Father in Heaven has rendezvous with you, not just to think on these things, but also to vibrate in alignment with these things. To feel in our being the emotion, the energy, and truly the vibration of that which we seek to create in the life. You cannot create what you want by just thinking it intending it, visualizing it. You must marry it with the vibration of your being because believing, intending, and being have to be one in order to manifest. And so don't dwell in the energy of or the vibration of the problem. Don't stay in the vibration of the challenge. Instead, rise above it, raise the vibration, find and hook into a feeling that is higher than the problem and dwell there, and while there, envision in the imaginal mind the solution to your problem. If your problem is a relationship that is unhealthy or toxic, hook into the high vibration feeling, run the energy of that, and then imagine the relationship as being healthy. Imagine the relationship as thriving and being so wonderful, and stay there a while. If the problem you're facing is monetary or financial. Hook out of the problem. Don't stay connected to the lack and the scarcity of that, but rather hook into a complementary high vibrational emotion, an emotion of love, of joy, of happiness, of contentment. And while in the high vibrational feeling, bring into the imaginal mind, which is the mind's eye, truly visualize yourself as living in abundance and having all the money that you need and more and stay there a while. This is the chamber of creation. This is the secret space you can enter into and create the life that you truly want, but you have to feel it. You have to vibrate in alignment with what you seek to create because it's the feeling that sends the transmission to the mother aspect of who you are. You see, you're a trinity being. And God said, let us make man in our image. God, the trinity aspect itself created man in its image. And we have a trinity aspect as well. And one of the aspects is the father, the thinker, the conscious mind. The other aspect is the mother, the subconscious, that deep aspect of ourselves that animates the reality. It outpictures that which we think and feel and the feeling, the vibration. This is the Holy Spirit. This is the movement. This is the form that we take in the existence. When all of these are working correctly, you are manifesting the life that you truly want. As lightworkers, it is easy to get overwhelmed by the state of the world and to get overwhelmed by the state of the life. But don't stay in the energy of that because if you run the energy of that, you contribute to the problem. You enhance it. You amplify it. You make it worse. Instead, view the problem as being healed. View yourself as being whole. 
view, whatever it is you seek to bring into alignment with your higher vision, in the higher vision already. Visualize the outcome that you seek, marry the complementary vibration to it, and thus signal the mother to bring forth the new creation. And now you're cooking with gas. Now you're creating a new reality. To conclude, never dwell in the energy of the problem. Don't indulge negative moods and depressions and narratives and looping thinking that keep you in the space of that problem because from there you are signaling, you are creating. Rather, find the areas in your life that bring you joy. Find the areas of life that enable you to walk around the planet feeling high vibrational and feeling good. And then when there, think of all things as healed, including yourself, including this world, including this nation and all nations, including this planet. Think of healing for all of this and wellness and blessings for all of this, and thus it will be done as above, so below, and the consciousness dwells above. To bring it below, to outpicture it into the life, we have to be living in this trinity synergy. Did you hear what I just said to you? What I said was deep, and so it is. Mahalo.